Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining me today. Do hope you're doing all right. So here we are back in Two Point Hospital, this fun little game where we're trying to cure the weirdest diseases you've ever seen. Like clowns, for example, and people with frying pans stuck to their head. It's great fun. So in the last episode, we started off in our third hospital, I think this is. And we're doing pretty well, actually. We're starting to make some decent money now, which is good. And we've expanded into our second building over here. This level is all about training staff. So that is what we're focusing on. We've got a new psychiatrist being trained up in here at the moment. And that's what we're aiming for. So six trained staff, six promoted, and a hospital level of nine, which we're pretty close to now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so what have we got over here? Uh, we've got another diagnostics room, another psychiatry and our clown clinic. Uh, what haven't we got? We don't have a deluxe lux in this level, but I don't think we'll need one. I don't see people coming in with light bulbs for heads. So I think we'll be okay at, for now with that. So I just need to focus on training people, really. I will continue to upgrade machines, that's always a good idea. Let's see, I can I can do our extractor pan, so let's get that upgraded next. This one is being fixed, that's good. Our easy scan is done. Ooh, what did we do? Did we... Oh, we killed five out of seven, so that's not bad, is it? That's pretty cool. Oh, look, another mono beast. Oh, why can't I shoot it? Kill streak of six, very nice. Oh, can I make it seven? No, he's going to disappear. I didn't want to risk it. Right. Um, where are we? Sorry, I've lost track of myself a bit now. I've just distracted myself. Yeah, so we've got a psychiatrist training in here, so let's just take a look at our doctors. So I've got, yeah, so I was training this guy up and then I can sack this guy at the top here. That's great. Um, yeah, and then this one at the bottom here I need to train up next. He's going to be trained in treatment. So this training is almost done. Psychiatry learned. Wonderful. Right, let's get in here then. So, you're both psychiatry. You, I'm sorry, but you're getting sacked. And Karen Pungent is next up to be taught a bit of treatment. Um, do I want a nurse? No, I've got enough money. I'll get someone new in. And where are we? Karen Pungent. There we go. You can start learning a bit of that. Actually, I'll just check my nurses. Do I have any nurses that I want to get trained up with that? No, I've got... All my nurses are trained in what they need to be now, aren't they? Ah, you should only be in the, the ward. So I've got three there that do the ward. I've got two doing diagnostics and two doing treatment. Although, actually, I've got more diagnostics rooms than that, so let's just check on my nurses. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I can hire another diagnostic nurse. Wonderful. So let's just make sure she's working in the right place as well. I know this is a little anal the way I do this, but it really does help to make sure all your staff are working in their best possible environments. It, it does make a big, big difference. Just makes everything run much more efficiently. So at the moment I've got three diagnostic rooms for nurses and I've got three three diagnostic nurses. Treatment wise I've got the clown clinic and the pharmacy. And I've so that's two buildings and I've got two Yeah, I've got two that are covering it. So I'm I'm okay. I probably will get one more treatment in. 
Um, it looks like I could do with another GP, doesn't it? Always need more GPs. Ugh. Let's just get rid of all of them and see what comes through. Um, get another diagnostics nurse as well. It doesn't hurt to have one spare. Diagnostics is the most important area of the the whole hospital really. If you're not diagnosing people quickly then they're not going to get treated are they? Challenge, promote three staff. No, that's not... Oh, I'll accept it because if I lose it doesn't matter. But it's not really going to happen on the three. Um, right, how are my staff looking? Doctors? Yeah. I do need more GPs. Clearly, I need more GPs. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. I've just got to hope that someone good comes through. Ah, oh, diagnostics. You're not brilliant, I'll be honest, but for now, you're better than nothing. So let's get you just working in the GPs. And I will build another GP's office over here. Uh, let's get you in there. I've got four, four GPs now and four offices, so chances are they won't all get used that regularly, but um, it's good to have all, enough rooms for your staff and enough staff for your rooms. So yeah, obviously at the moment there's nobody over there, but hopefully I'll, I'll get some more doctors so in seven days. Another doctor will come on, and I'm kind of hoping. I could do with another treatment doctor as well to make sure my pans lab is getting covered. And what's the other room that they do? Oh yeah, it's the Deluxe Deluxe, but I don't need that at the moment in this hospital. I'm not getting anyone with that disease coming in, so there's no point building it. There we go, my treatment course is complete, so he's going to go over back to his pans lab. So I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that's the only place he's working. So that's great. No, you're no good, are you? You're all over the place. Okay. Do I need more nurses? Because I have a blank nurse there available for hire. Yes, I was going to get another treatment one, wasn't I? Potentially. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's hire you and put you straight in here and get you going as treatment. There we go. Let's get my staff promoted. Promote three staff. Oh, look at that, I did do it. And there's another monobrow. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, so there's another treatment nurse coming in. And that will finish off our two stars. Look at that. We've done promoting. We've done hospital level nine. Uh, so I just need to train her. And that's that done. Let me just make sure she's equipped for when she comes out. So she is going to be doing pharmacy and clown clinic. So at some point I might get another pharmacy. It's one of those that gets used a lot. So it's certainly not a bad thing having a spare pharmacy building around. At the moment, my GPs are still lacking. Oh, yes. What a name. Mandy Compost, my new GP superstar. There we go. So, doctors, there you are. I only want you working in GPs. Great. So now I've got five GPs and four offices. That's fine because one of those GPs I will get rid of um, at some point. <laughs> because he's, he's diagnostics, isn't he? This guy up here is diagnostics rather than specifically GPs which I'd much prefer uh, the skill which is specifically for GPs let's get some more people promoted it's always good to promote it makes them work harder faster longer and more efficiently as well it just makes them um, have a higher percentage chance of actually um, diagnosing people or treating people it's well worth doing now what machines do I have that I haven't upgraded let's have a look our drug mixer is up. Our extractor pan I could get up to level 3. Let's do that. That would be a nice one to get up, wouldn't it? 
I can't upgrade my dehumifier yet. I do have a heart racer. No, I can't do heart racer yet. Oh, there we go. Two stars. What have we got? Oh, look, just as I was talking about it. Heart racer level two and dehumif dehumifier level two. Fantastic. Right, what do we need for three staff? Train 10 staff, promote 10 staff, hospital level 12, and staff morale. Right, how do I get staff morale up? Make sure staff don't get too tired, ensure they can satisfy their needs, give them a nice work environment, and pay rises, promotions, and training. Select a member of staff to see what is affecting them. Okay, so let's just generally keep people happy, is the, uh, the basics on that. Right, let's get promoting some more people. Who have I got next? Doctors, nurses, never neglect your other ones, either your assistants and your janitors. Um, even my janitors aren't quite perfect, are they? I might get you done in Ghost. Let's have a look. So, let's get Ghost Capture. Michael Juggle. And I will get someone new in for you. I'll use one of my other ones. Staff training required. Yes, I know. It's fine. Do you know what I might do? I don't want to go over the top, but I do think I could do another training room and get uh, someone else getting trained up as well. Let's have a look. So I've got my assistant here actually. Let's get let's get some customer service going on. Do you know what? I should have Janitor checked this first. Yeah, look, I've got one here with customer service already. That's fine. I will hire another one anyway. Uh, it never hurts to have another, you know, a spare, um, a spare of everything basically. So I will have a spare assistant. They don't cost a lot, so um, I will get three good um, receptionists. Do, 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 do. Ah, that's getting worn out quite a lot. Let's have a look at my janitors. I have discovered the heater. Oh, what have got here? Maintenance. Look, Soviet this guy's a maintenance diva. No Sorry, this girl is a maintenance I diva. I am going to get you in there to do a bit of maintenance. Wolf. Words will be had, I assure you. Um, now, I'm just thinking about my janitors, because I did set one of them to just doing plants, but do you know what, I might just get it back to normal. Just a, just allow them all to do everything. Once you've got enough of them, then it's not so much of a problem. Um, yeah, that's fine. They're, they're, they're pretty good. I don't worry so much with janitors about getting all their skills correct. I do like them all to have ghost capture. That's a very handy one. And then as much maintenance as possible. And then you get the odd one that can do the upgrading as well. So at the moment, there's, there's things here being highlighted, which are showing that they need maintenance. And that's not good. I need more, uh, more janitors doing more work. It's what I need. Oh dear, someone else just died. Right, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? What are we doing? Oh, circus incident. Yes. That's fine. I've got a good circus operation going on, so I don't mind having more people in for that place. I've got two training jobs going on. It really speeds up your training, actually, when you start getting more than one training room. Come on, janitors. I suppose I've got... Yeah, one of my janitors is training at the moment, actually. Star promotion. Good. Junior janitor to janitor. Fantastic. You go for it. That wasn't even the one being trained, actually. There we go. Ghost capture is done, and 
they instantly want a promotion once they've been trained, which is fine. That's what I need to do. Right, who do I want to train next? Let's get back to my doctors. Who do I want to get trained? Um, GPs. Let's get a couple. Uh, I'll probably do one GP at a time. I know it slowed it down, but it's Attention. it can be tricky with GPs to um, to not because they're so in demand. You end up with um, with massive queues if you remove too many of them at a time. So let's have a look at general practice two and get one person trained up. Doesn't really matter which one. There we go. Let's just get that one trained up for now. Let's come over here and have a look at our nurses. So it's another good idea to never really train too many people at the same time that, that are in the same jobs. So you can see here, all pretty much all of our nurses have got training slots. So really just pick one and off you go. So diagnosis, let's go for one. Yeah, let's go for a diagnosis two. So let's get one of my diagnosis people in and get someone training. Right, my clown clinic is a little bit overrun at the moment, but that's fine, it's because there's an emergency. Staff training required, yes, I know. I know. I'm getting round to it. I can't rush these things. So there's no more rooms to build at the moment, is there? I do wonder if I might need more as I go on. I've still not had anyone come in with Deluxe Lux, I don't think. It's certainly not told me about it. Right, GPs are still getting overrun. Let's just go for it. I'm going to get two more. Two more GPs. So you guys are just working in my GP's offices. They're not trained up, but they'll just, you know, they'll get the job done. Who are you? Richard Source, intern assistant to junior assistant. That's fine. You can definitely get trained up. I think my diagnosis nurses are, are lacking as well, aren't they? I've got four. And I've got three rooms, so that should be enough. Oh, this is good. Lots of promotions going on. That's great. And another one. Fantastic. My staff are relatively happy. Yeah, look at that. Staff morale is going up. That's good. Yeah, my GPs... Oh, yeah, they're struggling a bit. So let's get another GP's office in. Let's get a bit of food going on out here. Let's get a bin. And yeah, until I build a, a room here, can't really, I don't feel right putting stuff sitting in the middle of the uh, corridor, but you know what I might do anyway. I feel like they need a leaflet stand over here. So let's get a leaflet stand in. Just want to keep people entertained. Oh look, there's a monobeast. Boom. Staff challenge, go 90 days without death. Well, I will try. I can't guarantee that it's going to work, but I will always try my best. That's a good motto to have for life really, isn't it? I'll try my best, but I can't make any guarantees. That's better. Look, all my GPs are filled up and the queues are shrinking. So now I've got five GPs. Let me just double check my stats here. I've got six doctors that are just working in GPs offices and I've got five GPs offices. And that's fine because you'll always find that at least one of them is on a break. So that's fine. I don't mind that. Still making loads of money, so that's really good. Still promotions going on. Uh, now, did I have more things that could be upgraded? I think I did. Yes, look, the heart racer. Let's get the heart racer upgraded next. 
that will help with diagnosis. How did my emergency go over here? Oh, I've still got a couple of people waiting. Come on. You're next in the queue at least, so that's good. Circus incident. Oh, I'm running out of time for the circus VIPs. Oh, it's because it's being maintained. That's annoying. Oh, it's a slow process, that, isn't it? Oh, well. Training course complete. Fantastic. Uh, what, who are you? Oh, I just... Oh, you're a nurse. You're... That's fine. Right, so I have... Oh, I have two empty training rooms. Let's have a look at our staff. Who do I want to get trained up next? Um, probably these GPs, actually. Um... Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Or maybe one of them. Let's go for Brendan Fluster. I will get Brendan Fluster trained up in general practice. And yeah, I'll spend the money for now. I've got the money spare, so I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Four out of seven. Okay, well that was enough to win the challenge at least. Uh, I've got training over here. Let's have a look. Uh, who I've got. Uh, let's have a look at nurses. Maybe I should get maybe a ward nurse. Let's get one of my ward nurses leveled up another level. Let's get a ward management two. Have to get someone in. Oh, that's a good name, isn't it? Gordon Nightingale. And you can train up Mickey Man. Cool. There we go. Never seen that button down there before. <laughs> oh. Right. I can upgrade my dehumifier. I'm aware of that. Um, not going to do it just yet, though. I've only got. I think I've only got one janitor who can do upgrades. Of the universe. Yeah. So just one upgrade at a time for my janitors. That's fine. Life. And what's another word for thesaurus? More existential questions after this. Might expand. Let's just get another building open and ready. Um, I can always start spreading out. So the good thing is because you can move the rooms, if you want to have this area that's just diagnosis, you can just move all your rooms around and just have loads of diagnosis in here. And do you know what I might do? I might build another ward. And then I could have this as a diagnosis ward and then have a treatment ward elsewhere. It's an idea. I'm not really fussed about having just this is diagnosis or this is treatment or whatever. I don't mind spreading stuff out because you want you want people spread out through the hospital. And it's not like it takes them long to walk around it either, so it's not too much of an issue. I suppose if I was being a perfectionist, then yes, I would probably um, I probably would move all the buildings next to each other. Um, yeah, and let's get the dehumifier upgraded next. Um, so, ward-wise, actually, let's see if I can employ a second... If I can employ another nurse who can just be a ward nurse... Then when I've got another ward, I can have two for each one. So you are just going to work on the wards. Okay. And then what I need to do is come in here and just shrink that down to one extra. So we end up two in there. And then if I come over here, I can build another ward. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's, come on, sort yourself out. There we go. Um... Do you know what? I might just go for a massive ward. So let's get a ward door in there. And nurse stations here. No pillaging, please. A few screens and then a whole load of beds.
It's going to be quite an expensive room, this, but I want it to look nice. Let's see if I can get some lockers in the middle here. I like the look of these lockers, they're cool. I'm all about the aesthetics, I want it to look nice. I want it to look realistic as well. Um, let's get a bin. God, I have a few plants, I think. Got a hat stand by the door. A couple of flying ducks. Maybe some paintings. Oh, jukebox. Can we get a jukebox for the ward? Yeah, I like that. Awesome, look at that. That's a nice ward. Right, so we can have one extra person on there as well. So uh, so this one is going to be for treatment. And then this one is just for diagnosis. Health and safety inspector Henry oh dear, look, Jobsworth got lots of stuff going on. Ooh, new illness, boggled mind. A severe boggling of the mind, often caused by exposure to new, sometimes paradigm-altering information. Through careful analysis of this condition, scientists have been able to derive the equation mind equals blown. Sadly, this equation has proven to be entirely useless. Awesome. Okay, I failed... To go 90 days without a death, that doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, training, promotion, yes, I will definitely promote people. Training, right, right. I've got two empty training rooms, so I am going to train people. Let me just check. I think I wanted to train GPs, didn't I? So I've got Bill Factory is a GP, so let's get that done. So, general practice one, Bill Factory, yes. And again, I will pay for someone to come in and do it. Nurses. I just employed someone new for my war, so Nigella de la Cream. What a great name that is. You are going to get trade up in ward management. Nigella. And again, I will pay someone to come and do that. There we go. Right, look, we've achieved one of our objectives. We've promoted 10 staff now. That's good. Let's get some benches down out. Here. Let's get a, a salty snack machine in the corner here. A drinks machine. Um, yeah, for now I'll spread into this space over here. Let's get a leaflet stand. And a magazine rack as well. And a plant. Let's brighten the place up a bit. There we go. Right, I don't have a nurse over here yet. Nurse on the ward. Where are my nurses? Oh, I've got two in this ward. Let's just see where my other nurses are. Uh, I believe one of them is getting trained. Yeah, so one's being trained. Two in the ward. Three in the ward. Oh, okay, so someone is now over here. Yeah, there we go. Good, so I've got someone there. Great, so hopefully you are here for treatment. Bed face. Wonderful. I've actually, in all the time I've been playing this game, I've never set up a ward for treatment and a ward for diagnosis. So this is something new for me. I think it's, uh, I think it's a really good idea, actually. I think wards are a very important um, building. A uh, building. What am I talking about? A very important room. So being able to differentiate between the two functions is really, really helpful. Uh, that is now upgraded, great. I think this, yeah, my heart racer here can be upgraded, so let's do that. Now, one problem I'm going to have with employing people, so at some point I'm going to have to stop employing people, is every time you employ someone new, it brings your staff morale down, because of course they're not promoted, and they're not trained, and so their, their morale is less. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because I need their morale to go up. I know there is an easy way of boosting morale, which is just to give everyone a pay rise. So sometimes in the past I have just given people sort of mass pay rises just to get over the 
the end with that, but um, we'll see how it how it goes. First, obviously, I need to get my hospital up to level 12 and train a few more staff. So. Um, it shouldn't take long and it shouldn't be hard. I've nearly done my ward training here. My GP's coming along nicely there. Uh, there we go. Ward management learned. Give you a promotion. Make you happy. So what else can I train over here? Let's have a look at my doctors. Uh, I reckon a psychiatry 2 would be a good one. Let's have a look at that. Homer Fingers, you can be a better psychiatrist. There we go. And then let's have a look at what else I've got. Janitors. I could train a janitor. I actually I could train an assistant, couldn't I? Is that I'm always tempted to ignore them. Not ignore them, but they're always a least priority because doctors and nurses are the ones that do all the hard work, really. They, they're they the ones that actually speed the patients through. Um, I mean, obviously, the assistants do help with that, but only at one stage. Staff promotion. Bill Factory is getting promoted. Well done, Bill. Right, OK, let's have a look at nurses then. I'm thinking maybe a treatment. How about you? Florence Panther, let's treat you. Uh, let's train you in treatment two. There we go. A bit more training done. So I've got two more training being done, which is what I need to get to up to three stars. So that's great. Hospital level 12. I don't know quite what I need to do to get that up. Just keep on building, I guess. There's a queue outside my general... Is this general diagnosis? I can never remember. Yeah, general diagnosis, but that's because this one's being upgraded. Ooh, barbershop quartet. Psychiatry, yes, that's fine. I've got psychiatrists. They're here. Okay. All right, let's get that up. Right, I think I might call the episode to an end because I don't think I'm quite going to get this three stars finished now. It's just going to take a little bit longer and uh, I think I'll leave that until the next episode. Yeah, so let's call it a day there. I think we've made some pretty good progress in this hospital. Uh, so next episode I will finish off this three stars which shouldn't take too much longer. And move on to the next hospital and see what surprises it has in store. I've got quite a few choices, I think, now because of the um, certainly because of the expansion packs, you end up with quite a few new hospitals to choose from. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's move on. So thank you very much, as you as always, for joining me. I do appreciate you spending a bit of your spare time with me, and hopefully you're having fun with this series. I know I am. It's great fun getting back into this and playing around with a, a classic game like this uh, if you have enjoyed it please do hit the like button it would really help Is out the channel the and uh, hopefully you can join me again very soon until then do take care I will see you soon